This week, we celebrated Veterans Day, honoring U.S. veterans for their service in the American military. And this Shabbat, we are going to be honoring veterans from our own congregation, Beth El, at Shul with an Aliyah. And as I was thinking about Veterans Day, I was looking up some Jewish veterans of note um, and learned about several throughout history in the U.S. military um, from the beginning of the country's history. One was Tibor Ted Rubin, a former Hungarian American Army Corporal who won a Medal of Honor for his service in the Korean War, who was also a Holocaust survivor. Another was William Bill Shimin, who won a Medal of Honor belatedly, his family accepted it on his behalf, for um, his service in World War I. And both of these Jews were passed over in their time because of anti-Semitism in the military that was later corrected by giving them medals of honor for their honorable service. But perhaps the most interesting story of a Jewish American veteran that I came across was the story of Deborah Samson Grant. Sorry, Deborah Samson Gannett. She was a Massachusetts woman who disguised herself as, an, um, as a man in order to serve in the Continental Army during the American Revolutionary War. She was born in 1760 in Massachusetts to a Jewish family that had seven children, um, but her father deserted the family and her mother sent the children out to live in various homes around the country. And so finding herself adrift, Deborah dressed as a man in early 1782 and joined the army in Middleborough, Massachusetts under the name Timothy Thayer. She was soon discovered, however, but and, and excised from the military, but she joined again, this time in Uxbridge, Massachusetts, just a few months later under the name Robert Shirtliff. And this time, as a 5'9 woman, she was able to join the Light Infantry Company of the 4th Massachusetts Regiment, which was actually an elite unit consisting of 50 or 60 men specially picked because they were taller and stronger than average. And this time, Deborah's disguise was not noticed because nobody thought to look for a woman in such an elite unit. And during her 17 months of service, during the Revolutionary War, Samson is said to have scouted neutral territory in Manhattan, dug trenches at the siege of Yorktown, helped storm a British front, and patrolled the banks of the Croton River. And finally, once she had to extract a pistol ball from her own thigh using a pen knife and sewing needle because she was trying to avoid examination by a doctor who might discover her sex. And later on in her, surge, in her service, another injury caused a doctor to discover her secret. In, and while other women were, who were pretending to be men were often reprimanded and dishonorably discharged, Samson was honorably discharged because of her immense service and contributions at West Point in New York after a year and a half. So these are the fascinating and untold stories of Jewish American veterans throughout the history of this country. So I hope you will come join us on Shabbat to honor our veterans Saturday morning. And tonight when we have Wear Your Colors Shabbat in honor of tonight's Penn State versus Michigan game, sorry, tomorrow's game, we will be wearing our sports colors and I personally will be rooting for Temple Bethel. Shabbat Shalom.